you know that God the Father is seeking worshippers and he's seeking true worshippers. John chapter 4 verses 23 and 24. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. Verse 24, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Now these are the words of our Lord Jesus and he qualifies that true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. In other words, the Lord Jesus is saying, he's not giving us any options, he's not giving a suggestion, he's saying that the true worshippers must worship the Father in spirit and truth. So what does it mean to worship in spirit? It means that we worship out of our innermost beings. It means that we don't worship in a superficial way. It means that out of our everything, we worship Him. Not lacking in zeal, but heartfelt. What does it mean to worship in truth? It means that worship is sincere. It is heartfelt. It is not, there is no pretense and there is no hypocrisy in worship. So the Lord Jesus is saying that those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. In verse 23, He's saying something very interesting. He's saying that the Father is seeking such to worship Him. In other words, God the Father is actually looking out and seeking to find people who will worship in spirit and truth. And it's a very interesting thing that God the Father, the God who created heaven and earth, would actually look out and seek to find such worshippers. So may we be worshippers who will worship in spirit and in truth. May we be people who will worship out of our innermost beings as led by the Spirit of God. May we be people who will worship in truth. Another aspect of worshipping in truth means that worshipping God according or as prescribed by the Word of God. Because the Word of God is truth. The Lord Jesus says, Thy Word is truth. So we worship God as it is laid down in the Word of God, the Bible. So when it comes to worshipping God, it does not mean that I worship Him however I feel like worshipping Him. Yes, there needs to be a response from our heart to worshipping Him. But we worship Him in truth to delight His heart and the way He desires worship to be. So as we live our life, let's be worshippers who will worship in spirit and truth. Let's pray. Father, we pray that even as you've invited us, even as you asked us to worship, to be worshippers, of spirit and truth, to be true worshippers. May we be found to be true worshippers. May we worship in spirit and in truth, out of our innermost beings, without any pretense, without any hypocrisy, and in truth, as according, as laid out by your word. We thank you, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.